What's going on everybody? I hope everyone is having a great day. Welcome back to another haircut tutorial and today in this video we're going to do a really simple haircut. I'm going to be bringing them down to a number two on top and I'm also going to be giving them a nice clean mid fade on the side. The steps that we're going to be doing for this haircut are going to be super super simple. I think anybody would be able to do a haircut using these steps. So make sure to stay tuned to see the final look. But here I have my Oster Octanes with the number two guard. And I'm basically just going in every single direction, making sure that I try to make the top as even as I can. And this is kind of why I'm using detachable uh, clippers for the top. Since his hair is pretty short, I could just throw the number two guard on there and it just munches away on the hair, making it really smooth. So now I'm here, I'm using my trimmers, my Babyliss FX's and for his fade, I'm not gonna be leaving any type of hook. So I'm gonna start at exactly at the temple peak point and then just kind of keeping it mid uh, length since I am trying to do a mid fade. Now I'm not gonna worry about trimming down all the, the hair that's at the bottom right now. I must actually save that for the very end because I find that when I do that, it's very easy to blend in the shaver line. So now here I'm switching over to my cordless magic clip and with the lever all the way open, I'm gonna go ahead and create my first guideline by going up about an inch. And when I'm going up, I'm making sure that I'm flicking out, making sure that I'm trying to not leave as hard of a line. I'm trying to uh, just kind of make it all smooth. So now here I'm going in with the lever all the way closed and I'm gonna be working in sections making sure that I'm flicking up about quarter of an inch and then I'm gonna go ahead and open my lever to the halfway position and continue to blend out that bottom line and that should basically finish off blending out the bottom line. Now it's very important that anytime that you're cutting hair it's very important to be able to listen to, uh, to your clipper because you want to make sure that you're cutting something at all times or else you're just going to be flicking up for no reason and not cutting any type of hair. So right here to, to work on the back, it's gonna be the exact same step, starting with the lever all the way closed, moving to the lever halfway, and then opening it one more time just to clean it all up. So now moving on to the half guard with the lever all the way open, I'm gonna go in and create a new guideline going up about half an inch. And you guys are gonna notice anytime I go um, and attach a new guard, I'm always gonna start with that lever all the way open. That way we create some separation. That way it's easier to blend. Now using the lever at the halfway position, I'm going to begin to down fade at this part of the fade. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that I'm staying underneath where I left the guard all the way open. Now it's very important knowing exactly where I'm setting in my guides just because I don't want to get lost and raise the fade more than I have to. So now I'm going in with the lever all the way closed and I'm basically just using the corners just to really do some detail work. Um, anywhere that I see the bottom line that wasn't fully blended out, I'm gonna go in and just detail work on that. And if I need to, I'm gonna be uh, playing with the lever uh, just to really blend out the bottom line. So now I'm moving on to my number one guard and once again, starting off with the lever all the way open. And as you guys can see, it's basically almost completely blended in just because we're getting close to that number two. So the guidelines are gonna be a little um, more difficult to visibly see but they are definitely going to be there so once again with the lever all the way open I'm going up about half an inch I mean this I got a little bit more room to work with so I'm just making sure that I'm flicking out as much as I can now here using the lever all the way closed I'm gonna be touching up the very bottom just to go ahead and try to blend it in as much as I can. And if I notice that 
Um, it's cutting a little bit too much. I'm gonna open the lever to the halfway position and just continue to blend up like that. So now I did notice um, a little bit of dark spots at the very bottom. So what I ended up doing was reattaching my half guard and just playing with the lever once again, just to get rid of those little imperfections that I see. That way I don't move on to the next step without correcting it. So now last and final step for the fade, I have my one and a half guard with the lever all the way closed. And this is gonna complete the fade. Now the fade might look finished, but I always like to turn my client to the side and kind of get a different angle just to make sure that no little hairs are poking out. That way I know everything is nice and even. So now it's finally time to get rid of the very bottom part of his hair uh, just before I go in with the shavers just to go ahead and clean it up. And I notice when I do these steps, I find that my clipper blends out the bottom line a lot easier than when I shave all of this and then go in with the shaver leaving such a hard line. So I'm definitely starting to like this technique a little bit more. So now I'm going in with the shaver just to finalize the fade, making sure that it's nice and bold. Now with this technique, it is a little bit difficult and risky that I definitely do not want to go too high with the shaver, creating a new line. So I definitely want to keep it about a quarter of an inch uh, lower than where I know for a fact I set in my first initial guideline and then just kind of go with the grain with it at that point and then at the very bottom I could go against the grain no problem. Now for his lineup my client did not have the most perfect lineup to begin with so I definitely did have to keep it as natural as possible, but I do want to make it crispy at the same time. So the way I went ahead on this lineup was I started off on the side of his lineup first and then kind of finished off one side, just trying to keep it as natural as possible. And you guys are going to notice that my client's lineup is kind of in like a U shape. So with those, those haircuts, that's the way I like to go about it first, kind of not touch the very middle of it i'm going to save that part for last and you guys are going to see why So now that I got the two corners done, now it's time to work on the very middle. And what I'm gonna be doing is just rounding it a little bit to try to connect both sides together. So my client does like enhancement, so I am gonna definitely apply some to the hairline. Uh, the, the dye that I use for my mixture is the Kiss Express 98 and I mix that 50-50 with any aftershave that I'm using. Now to help me apply it, I always like to use a brand new business card and that's gonna really give you the straightest line possible because if you use an older one that's kind of more beat up, you're not gonna get the best straight line. 
Here I'm going back in with my trimmers just to clean off any of the overspray that might have been there. And I didn't show the part, but at, on the very right side of the corner, he is a little bit lighter. So I did apply a little bit of fibers just to make it look a little bit more natural at that part. But now moving on to the beard, I'm not gonna go too crazy on it. I am gonna just blend it in and line it up. I'm not really gonna be trimming it too much. So you can literally do the exact same steps that you did on the fade to go ahead and blend in the beard. But this time for some reason, I did it a different way. I'm going in with the clipper with the lever all the way closed just doing a little bit of freehand shaping making sure that I'm trimming off those long hairs that are sticking up Now for the bottom of his lineup, you could already tell exactly where he likes to get lined up. So I'm just recreating that same line, just making it nice and sharp and freshening it up. Now I'm here, I'm switching to my other one just to go ahead and knock out all the bulk right there at the very bottom. And that's because with my gold ones, I can't really do that. Just because they're so sharp, they might irritate my client. Now for the very top, what I did was I looked at his beard, I was really analyzing it, uh, and then I looked at the part where it was the most full, and then just tried to um, outline that line the best that I could. So now I'm going in with the straight razor just to make it a lot closer and a lot sharper. Now the razors that I like to use are the Gillette razors. I used to use Astra, but I find that these razors are a lot sharper than the Astra and you can get them for a great price. No, I am not sponsored by them. I'm just telling you guys my honest opinion. Now, one thing your client will truly, truly appreciate is, since you guys have the razor in your hand already, why not use the razor above his ear? He would really, really appreciate that. But you guys, that was the cut. If you guys liked it, I'd appreciate it if you guys smash that like button. Also, don't forget to leave your guys' comment in the comment section down below. Or even if you guys didn't like the video, hit that thumbs down. Whatever, it's all good. But you guys, I created a TikTok. If you guys would like to follow me on TikTok, it is Jay Zapato the Barber, the exact same as my Instagram. So don't forget to check that out. And I hope everyone has a great and successful day. And once again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.